Ancient prophecy speaks of a group of adventurers who will rise from the darkness to become heroes and to bring light to the entire world. Unfortunately, these are not those adventurers. Hey! Bitch lizard! Would it be possible for me to bonus action eat Windy? I get myself. Welcome. To adventures and initiative. It's a shitty basket. I'm not an asshole. I'm the mad arrow stabber. God help us all. Hello and welcome to Adventures and Initiative. I am your DM, Donna the Cleric. Last time our adventurers entered into the forest of Tella. There um, they encountered a new friend, Charles. No, wait, what that's is your name? <laughs> that's Shame. not the right name. Let um, me change my name real quick on yes. Discord, but I'm Shane. Yeah, that's the uh, murder name. Yes, that's the murder. Murder. I died in like five, in like less than one round. Um, it was three rounds. They got a new fur no, I died round one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, they met a new Firbolg friend being attacked by some wolves that were covered in acidic pusses, um, spewing acid and in a very intense fight. Um, some not taking any damage and others taking a lot of damage. Um, uh, after the fight and being able to destroy the wolves and having them not melt into acidic nut forms and unable to really bring any body back they uh, brought Seamus with them their fur not friend back to the uh, city of Tella and began to warn the announcer of the um, frozen hunt there the announcer believed them and now and is now taking them to uh, the guild master and this is where our story mm -hmm. begins I did that right. Okay. Which uh, I, I, I can't help but feel that uh, whatever all powerful god is controlling this world kind of missed something and uh, cheated. Oh, look! The all powerful god removed your ability to speak. I'll just thank him for that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> let me see no, here. Um, I got music's all set up, so you just have to do the play, yeah. Dono. Leon, what? that's the name of the my guy. My setup wasn't good <laughs> enough. No, for some reason, like, it was supposed to be playing music the whole pre-stream, and it wasn't. And I realized that as we started, so I cleared it okay. and restarted it. So you just um, have to do the ZT exclamation yeah. point play and then the link. So Liam begins to take you guys through the uh, city of Tella. He explains to you that, that though he believes you quite thoroughly, ladies and gentlemen. I understand this situation, that it is severe, but let's try and make sure to keep it down and not cause panic. Because if we cause panic, we're going to end up with more damage than what we need if we can keep this quiet. But let's go see... As the interns and gives us a hard look. What? <laughs> you know... Um, also, please be understanding our guildmaster, he's quite, he's dealing with a sickness that he recently got off of an old hunt. So, but he's still, he's wise, he's strong. Wait, what kind of sickness is he dealing with? <laughs> Why is Kazi in Russian? I don't know. <laughs> um, two weeks. Recently, he's developed a quite fever and a little cough and it's nothing too severe but definitely not something if he wants where, to be where did he catch it oh, the corona God. forest <laughs> god <laughs> Cassian, too soon too soon right, if we can't laugh about yeah, it it's we can't still do going it. on i don't know what to, like well, yeah of course it's too soon yeah <laughs> um uh, no one said i was a good person all right well we don't we'll have to bleep that out and post <laughs> <laughs> I'm not removing it. Process. I'm the one that does the post work. Oh, get wrecked. 
Um, We've made much worse jokes about much I worse know. things. I know. <laughs> um, okay. Um, but no, Kazian is definitely going to turn to Dracus and just kind of give him this look like, you know, be on your best behavior. And then he's going to turn to Reyna and just be like, hey. As you remember, I am standing there <laughs> naked. You are uh, we are, yeah, we are all still standing mostly naked. Yeah. Like uh, I thought sometimes. you guys put your clothes on. Uh, you thought we, wrong. He kid. said at the end of last game that once we had a minute, now that we were in town, we were going to. But okay, yeah. so you guys you up it, right it, after talk, that talk so. to talk to uh, Le, or, uh, Laurent, Leon Leon, yes Leon. Sorry, <laughs> um, let him know it was gone. Uh, Kazian, you rolled a natural twenty on your persuasion. Thank the fucking lord. <laughs> the only good roll I got last I week. Could be able to put on your clothes and enter into the town. And as you were walking through the town, he is talking to you and explaining these different things. Um, so, yeah, um, he is just explaining that it needs. to to stay calm and not patient there is a whole festival going on and with that many people are from different points in l air in this country and we the last thing we want is a panic period i think you can understand that Kazian. yes i can understand that now uh can we hurry along because i don't know when uh, this is coming seamus here just said he had a dream uh, oh yeah, you know, acid wolves. <laughs> you know, acid wolves. That's very interesting. I believe. Um, yes, okay. very interesting. Very Whatever. painful. Too. Okay, you guys make it too. <laughs> you guys make it too. For yourself, uh, kind of tickled. <laughs> um, you guys make it too. You took no damage. damage that whole fight. <laughs> I didn't either. They yeah, I almost died. died. We have. You guys make it to the uh, <laughs> front of the guild in the hall, or the guild building. Enter in through the, the big, building. wide, wooden, not, whatever. Big, wide, wooden doors. Coming in, uh, you see uh, there's absolutely nobody here except for what you can hear is like a few footsteps, maybe some, maybe, like, it's pretty dead. There might, there's a few people here that are from like the festival. They're cooling off and kind of taking a breather before they go back. Um, Leon, or Leon takes you uh, through the halls and brings you to a uh, er, engraven door saying, Liam, Guildmaster of the Rebels. Um, there you I enter would like in. One hundred percent. Ask for permission to lay down a protective rune up in here. Okay. Uh, he completely. Uh, um, he doesn't seem like he's just like sure. Do do what you need to. Uh, whatever keeps this place safe. Yeah, I sit there with incense and I draw it out for a second. Hold on, got one second. Okay. Ten minutes. Later. Put a few if you need to. I don't. Yeah, like two, three, just in important locations. Okay. I imagine that you've also been like doing a few in town or whatever yeah just whenever it seems like when a place is important i'm mm -hmm. laying a protective okay. room down just to be safe okay are you um, doing this as rituals i mean i guess yeah. um, so every this, time this isn't an official minutes. yeah this isn't an official spell that we talked about so i don't know what i'm using to <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. i guess ritual. we need to talk about that but yeah, <laughs> yeah just doing, i'm doing them as rituals okay uh well, it would just be uh, a wording thing wouldn't yeah. it be yeah it's, uh, there's, a, it's, there's an applicable yeah. spell yeah no you we did some unique blah, blah, stuff with it so basically he's setting down the symbols and then he has to do some kind of enchantment not later on to actually activate them and stuff so he's oh, just no, getting right, 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 so things go bad i can yeah. 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 so yeah. seamus every now and then turns into uncle from jackie chan adventures <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay you guys enter into this room it is uh you smell a wafting smell of what is pine. Um, it is pleasant. It is not actually that bad, but you also get a small hint of like earth and ground and um, very, it's very homey. It smells like a wood cabin and it's not actually, it's not 
terrible to the nose. Um, you enter and you see a man that is covered in a gray robe. Um, he wears a scarf around his neck. He has a long beard, shaven head. And you also see what is a younger individual. He looks to be um, elven, probably a half elf. He does not seem very defined, um, but he seems like he has more of a darker color skin. Not drow but maybe that of the moon um he is in the uh plate or chain like lesser he looks like he's wearing plate armor but part of it's like taken off and everything and he seems to be casting a spell on the individual um Kazian or anybody that knows arcana can roll okay yeah, to see uh, uh, uh. I got a plus two, so I don't think that's going to be very helpful. Let's see if this plus one's going to do anything. Yeah, I mean, I might as well. Natural 20! <laughs> nice! I okay. guess I don't need to roll. Uh, 21. This is, this is a restoration spell. I don't know shit. No, you, the Dracus somehow knows. Yeah. But hey, um, first roll of the day is a natural 20. That's a good sign. It would be that's nice if we had some nice natural 20 art. If only. <laughs> If, if you're a butt about um, it, I'll never make the thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you guys begin to... Now you enter in, you see that, that he is having cast upon him a Lester Restoration spell. Um, and you see some of... He is an old... He is a man within his age. He is definitely human, and though he looks to be maybe mid... Uh, age about 50 to 60 in range. His hair is definitely graying. Um, he has a few scars among you know, his cheeks. Um, he has a writing desk within the room. You can see that there is a scroll that partly has scribbled out um, a few things. At, but you can also see what seems to be two swords on the wall uh, with a shield um, over top of them. Uh, you can also see what seems to be a very nice set of studded leather armor as well. The bed, simply made, but looks comfortable. And uh, the cleric that individual, uh, he has blue hair, uh, uh, kind of bluish tint to his skin, purple um, eyes that are glossed over with light as this spell uh, begins to be uh, pushed upon um the older gentleman and the armor that he does wear seems well kept uh, what are you guys gonna say it well, smells it smells lovely in here <laughs> well Cassie, and I'll let you do the talking uh do I know this guy's name or where it was I told it no you have not been told it he is just known as the guild master. You can try and introduce guild. yourself. Kazian's going to kind of just take like a half step forward from the group. Guild master, my name is Kazian Silver River Shield of L and of yeah. the Better Devils. <coughs> <Yeah. are coughs> That's much better. Uh, Trestle, thank you. Uh, <coughs> Hello, Cassian. It's nice to meet you. I am Liam. Um, My pleasure, I am Liam. the guild master of rebels of the rebels here. Um, recently, within it, uh, you can also see like behind as he goes to get up to shake your hand. Uh, you can see that there are some like papers underneath the bed, kind of sh shriveled all over the place. You, know, you take a little peek, and it looks like it's some type of official business uh, within the guild. He does not seem very well kept in this situation. I um, wish this was under better circumstances, sir, but unfortunately, I've come to inform you of a danger we have been advised of. Uh, Seamus, oh, uh, uh, we were participating in the hunt and came upon this tall gentleman um, being attacked by a group of wolves that seem to have been infected with some kind of acidic corruption. And uh, uh, after, I extend my hand ball. and I go, after, nice to meet you. The name is Seamus. I don't have a last name. After <laughs> rescuing him, he advised us that he had a dream that this town was in danger. Uh, and 
considering what has happened in the last few months across the aisles, I uh, I prefer not to take a risk if I, I can. What, is, what has been happening among the aisles? I'm sure you heard of what occurred in Norway, uh, a burning and the yeah. We saw the fires from here. Shadow spawn that caused it. My my party, the better devils, were there, but we were not able to prevent it from happening. And I heard uh, you guys did a good job of trying to stop the fire. Oh. <clears throat> we did, but the city was almost lost. Um, I prefer to try and avoid that uh, sir, similar circumstance in this case, if we can. Nonetheless, you still did a good job trying your best. <clears throat> well, thank you, sir. Um, Seamus, yes. tell us of your dream. I, and the DM can stop me because I can't remember, so I'm just going to bullshit. But uh, <laughs> Isn't that what I, we always do? I yeah. remember, it's a bit foggy now, but I was right outside of town and I saw hundreds of monsters oozing of gross pus and acid storming through the town. I was unable to help and I watched the town be raised in a matter of minutes. This is concerning. Not too uh, unlike the wolves we saw, in fact. So wolves. It was more than wolves, but yes, there were wolves. Kazian's gonna hold up uh, his arm, kind of pulling back his bracer to show where he still has some acid burns. These wolves were, as I had said before, corrupted in some way. Uh, rather dangerously, in fact. Yes, and can you make me a uh, constitution save? I, I thought we this. had cast lesser restoration so that that wasn't a problem anymore. What? You thought wrong, Ken. Like, Reyna had cast one of the restoration mm -hmm. spells on Cassian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that, so hopefully I'm not turning into an acid monster. You might be. <clears throat> Eleven. Okay. I fall down. You're... You begin to have a scratching... Well, you begin to sweat a little bit more than usual. Um, your palms... Like, you feel a slight weakness among you, but... These weak like, palms you don't know sweaty. if it's the presence... Uh, or being in the presence of a guildmaster, or... Because you've dealt... Um, being someone from a mercenary group... Now, it works similar within the mindset of a guild is you are people for hire and to protect the individuals. And this is one of the people that are like top dog. So, yeah. and he seems like he's well versed within battle. He seems like somebody that, and you don't know if it's, you just had a little bit of anxiety come over you or if you're actually feeling a little weaker. Okay. Kazian's going to just pause as he's pulling his bracer back to show the brain and kind of wobble for a second. Okay. And then just kind of stare at Seamus and like nod to continue. Break your sleep. Are you okay? Liam's there? gonna stop you, Seamus, and be like, "I saw one of these beasts." <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Well, what was it? How it was, was not a wolf, but a large yeah. rat that came from. I feel like I just field. said that there was not just wolves, so that makes sense. No, <laughs> I know, I know, I get it. <laughs> you won't um, believe this I know you just said there was more than wolves but I found something that wasn't a wolf <laughs> really do tell me more <laughs> tell me about the stock market oh well, you see I found this wonderful investment portfolio <laughs> signed was... money for evil plans ah yes <laughs> drained the account fast as I could plummeting stocks <laughs> He <laughs> um, looks at you and says, it's important that right now that we keep the people calm. If we can. <clears throat> Cassian. Yeah. The group, they seem capable. Are they stronger than when the, fo the fires happened? We are, but we're still missing half of our party. Oh, there's more of you? Yes, unfortunately, oh. the other half are with my second in command, Losh. Uh, remind me of Losh's uh, home island's name? Drug. Uh, Losh of Drug. Do I know um, what that is? Still out on my the hunt. DM? 
You have no idea what Drug is. Okay, I don't know the name of any place. I don't know the name of the place we're in <laughs> right now. Yeah, you don't. You are actually from the forest, and you are, like, away from everything. <laughs> you know that there's a town here. <laughs> I'm a little nervous just being in town. <laughs> Nothing's, no, no plants or animals whispering sweet nothings to me, and I'm not comfortable with it anymore. So, so when you say second in command, Dracus gets this low-key offended look on his face. You haven't been around. <laughs> I was with you at the beginning. Yeah, and then you got kidnapped. All right, gentlemen. Listen. That's, you... that's literally an and... out-of-character conversation. And... Okay. <laughs> We're not having that conversation in character. Okay. Cassian. Yeah. You look like you're... Uh, he looks at your uh, big old owl bear to the side and says... <laughs> You seem capable of tracking. Um, I will leave you <clears throat> with this charge. Go find your group and investigate the forest. Um, May I ask where you saw this uh, diseased rat? It was a mirror <clears throat> around the lake within the forest on the eastern side. <laughs> All right. As in, you know that you were on the uh, western side when it was happening. Cool. So it was the you... other side. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> you <clears throat> go find your group. I have a feeling that <clears throat> this might have something to do with the tower in the center, uh, in the northern center of the island. It's so always been uh, mysterious. All right, Reina, Dracus, uh, Seamus, I guess you're coming with us. All right, I'll follow you. Anything needed to save this town? You said on the northern side of the lake is where this tower is. Uh, northern uh, side of the forest. There's a strange right. tower in the middle of it. Um, if you were to stand on top of the Guild building, you would be able to see um, the very top of it among the trees. It's not quite far away. It probably was a, probably not a good time right now, but because it's dark. But <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> um, um, jump rope and enter that way. And he hands you um, what is basically a small map, and it shows little significant areas. Um, within the island, there is a lake to the east. There is like a flooded area in the west where you believe that you were. Um, there's um, a small chunk right in the center that is like burnt forest or from a past fire. Um, he seems to have like mapped this entire, almost this entirety of this uh, island out. Um, he also shows into this like top area all the way to the west there is a um clan of furbolgs he doesn't know the name and they haven't made contact he actually looks at seamus and he's just like are you from this uh clan here is that the clan i'm originally from yeah maybe I'm. um before you move to the clan in brooklyn i i i yes but i fear i may not be welcome there Hell, you're not welcome uh, here. That, no, that was just rude. I mean, that didn't... That was just, mean. Rude guy. You just ignore him. Okay. I feel like I'm here to help. I just feel personally <laughs> attacked all of a sudden. Oh, no, he's okay, literally an asshole. That's kind of his whole thing. Oh, me. cool. That's not cool, dog. Uh, hi, it's Kelvin. Hey, we had a lot of fun here today, I'm, but don't I'm, bully. I'm a lizard, not a dog. You monkey. No, you're a jackass. Right. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. <clears throat> we have greater things ahead. Oh, yes. Anyway, as I was oh, saying... No, Liam, do not, uh, do not think this is us fucking around. This is us trying to cope with the panic we're all feeling. <laughs> Understand. I made some decisions that the clan did not agree with, and I... Poor investments? What? <laughs> That was not in character voice. Uh, uh, no, I spoke out against the leader, and 
some of his decisions, and I am no longer allowed there. Well, it's important to stand up for one's things that they believe in. <clears throat> exactly. And in truth be told, it wasn't even for me. It was for a, a small boy. Um, I don't think he... I, DM, was he small? I don't know how old he was. Yeah, he was young. He was very young. This was they, probably about uh, 20 years ago that this happened. They wanted to send out a boy who was just a lot, he was like seven years old because of the mistakes of his father, and I couldn't let them do that. Kazian's going to give him side eye and just like, if we need to go to the Furbolgs, we'll go to the Furbolgs, but for now it sounds like we need to find our party members and head to this tower. Liam, do you have anybody that might be able to cast a sending or message to try and reach our party? He looks over at uh, Tarion, the elf, and he says, Do you have <clears throat> the spell uh, ready? This is Tarion, by the way. He is our uh, native cleric for the guild. Uh, he is mostly my uh, assistant at this moment. We have other clerics, but he is the main one that trains most of them. Oh, well, this is... Uh... Reina, she's kind of been voluntold into being ours, thanks to my Uncle Dick. Ah, you know Dick. Oh, tricky. Dick. Just met him for the first time. Didn't even know I had an uncle. But uh, really? he gave me a halberd, so he's, you know, Wait. a point for him. Uncle Dick, are you... Are you Crystallia's kid? I literally said, Kazian yeah. Silver River Shield, Prince of El, and of the Better Devils, didn't I? Didn't I? Right. Very long name, bud. Sorry. It's this title, Seamus. Yes, your majesty. I, my name this, is Seamus. Really That's just right. You call me your majesty, and I'm going to remove organs from you. I don't like the damn title, but I got to use it. I'm required to. Gentlemen, lady, let's be responsible, shall we? Yes. Um, Tarion, are you familiar with... Uh, Lush or any of her party enough that you might be able to use sending. Um, you see, I don't the, have disguise uh, self. I do. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know what she looks like. Oh, you I were talking to Reina. <laughs> no, I, I was talking to, to Tarion. I said Tarion. Okay, Tarion. Uh, what did you just ask? Sorry. <laughs> Um, I had asked if he's familiar enough with uh, Losh or her party to uh, use the sending spell, or if uh, anybody, at that, at that point, I'm talking to everybody in the room, if anybody knows how to do disguise self and can show him what uh, Losh, Val, or Selena look like. Um, she kind of looks like me, but green. That's very vague. Oh, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> Does anybody have like a Drugish coin? I'm sure her mother's on it and they look a lot alike. He pipes anything. up and he says, um, actually, um, I'm not, I mean, I've met a loser before, um, obviously with the Lush. meetings, I'm, or Losh, sorry, um, Losh before within meetings and as such, not with, uh, the, all the, all the islands. Can it's been a while. Them? message and advise of what is occurring and where to meet us uh, of course of course i can um what what do you want the message to uh what do you want me to say i only get about 20, not 25 words and if i'm being honest it's about the end of the day here and i'm running um, low on spells so i've got about one time. for uh just for brevity's sake um, we'll say that Kazian gives him a message and then I'll type something up and send it to you. Okay. So you have it for next week. Dog, things are right. bad. Stop. Meet us at inn. Stop. <laughs> Acid wolves. Town Stop. in danger. Wait, are you Meet guys going to go town. look for her right now? Let's, oh, no. That's, that's, that's the thing. Kazian's like going to head straight for the tower and wants the message to be sent so that she will redirect okay. to meet them. And that way okay. the party can all. So you let them know that you need to go to the tower. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll I'll actually write up something and send it to okay. you before next week. But for brevity's sake, we'll say that Kazian gives him a message to send them. Okay, cool. <coughs> um. So yeah, everything's done. 
Um, I imagine you guys still, you guys are well equipped for this journey. Uh, as well as we're going to be. All right. Well, <sighs> may it speed now. Will you be, may you be quick and may this not be a problem for more to see, but we will begin to spread the word among the other guild members, keeping it quiet and the guards within the town. And uh, you see him kind of like dart his eyes a little bit and kind of go into a thought process and I think, God save her. Um, cool, sorry. Now I'll leave an old man to his health, please. Well, good luck. Better devils and Seamus. Let's go. And right. Kazian's gonna Onward. walk out. And then he's going to castle. Well, once we're outside, he's going to hop on um on Barry. uh Perry. Yeah, Barry's back. Hi, Barry. Barry. Well, Barry. So should we rest? Just throwing this idea out here. We should probably rest, right? Uh I don't think Kazian would think we have time at um, this point. Okay, like a short rat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you right. can you can rest while you walk. <laughs> okay, I I guess I, I guess I just don't need second level spells. I'll just cast them at third level. It'll be fine. I mean, I am out of I am out of second level uh, slots. I can't but I ask the question because it's meta gaming. Yeah, I guess I don't need. Uh, let me just try to name off a spell that's second level. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if I need healing spirit, I'll make it really strong. Because <laughs> um, D&D is weird. Kazian, yes, it what is. time of day is it at this point? Um, let's see, you guys are probably out in the forest for about a good four hours. Um, because you traveled out and traveled back. Um, I'd say it's probably close to min midnight. Uh maybe like one o'clock ish so i uh for the record while i'm talking about needing a rest i'm also like putting doing a rune ritual just like listen my magic energy only extends so far as i'm just like <laughs> creating this glowing room i can only exert myself so much see listen it's like an index foot <laughs> like, i don't have a comparison to an index foot. kazian's like, gonna look at reyna and dracus just be like I can keep going, but I am going to let you decide. I'm. I think this is something we have to move on immediately. But if you need rest, and he's just not even talking to Seamus, he's just talking to the party members. I can still go um, forward. You see Tyrion come out, and he comes to you and be like, "Just in case, um, let's set your teleportation crystals to the guild." Good idea. Yeah. If you Good guys get a little, if it gets a little too hot, you can always come back here, and yeah. So um, he's going to bring you into a room, and on the floor you see a uh, the familiar uh, teleportation circle. Yeah, teleportation circle, one that you've seen in the front of uh, L or the castle in L, and it's just like you just uh, stand there for a second and goes like you feel just like a little warmth uh your teleportation crystal set and that is now where you will teleport to if you go to use them so well i don't care what you guys do i'm going tonight well then i think we're gonna go tonight and seamus uh oh, just take a nap down. on take a nap on barry's back we'll wake Deal. you I, and I guess that, just kind of slides I guess off that's of a short rest yes just take a nap uh, depending on how the survival checks go yeah, just keep me up <laughs> So you see Seamus go crawl like this big fur bog, just crawl into this equally about sized uh owl bear and just like nuzzle his face in just <laughs> Barry just gets Cassie in this look like are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> he's no mess. longer soft and innocent, instead he's jaded and annoyed. <laughs> like he's a dm you. barry yeah. has become a dm it's <laughs> happened Woo! okay, okay. Uh, uh, you guys begin to make your uh 
trek out survival. to the forest. Please make si- yeah, uh, whoever's leading, make a survival roll. Uh, Dracus, are you leading or am I? Uh, I would be, probably. Yeah, then you do survival rolls. Because it sounded like you were kind of just starting and everybody else is following after. <laughs> Kazian just like holds up the map. Do you want this? 13. Um, yeah, I think I better take that. Yep, and we get to get the map. Uh, yes, you can roll with advantage because you have the map. Forgot about that. Sorry, let me fix that. Yeah. So you can roll again since you guys actually have a map. I'll take the 13. <laughs> 13. Uh, could you please roll a D100 for me. Would you like traveling music, Dono? Sure. Since Give me that not. sweet jukebox groove. 56. Please 56. never say that sentence again. I will use it as much as I wish. Thank you very much. 56. All much. right. Uh, are you guys doing this stealthily or just freaking booking it? When has Dracus ever been stealth? Um, probably never. <laughs> All right. Oh, I need to roll a d20 real quick. <laughs> Let me get my... Okay. You guys begin to make your trek through the wilderness and uh, floor... You, you know, do a pretty decent job, especially with the help of um, Cassian uh, staying out of like not any bad terrain or anything uh but with dracus you, you leading the way music for the moment okay no worries uh you begin making your way through and what is your passive perception 12 12 okay cool um you um begin to actually smell something that smells uh like an earth, like a lizard. You pick up a scent of what could be a creature. Uh, make a nature check for me. We don't have music. I have to find us a new bot because those guys are trying to make money off of being able to play music. God damn. How dare they? Gouchers. Great work, guys. Your bot just lost people. Like, I guarantee we're not the only ones that are going to remove it from their channels. Critical uh, fail. Natural one, Dragus. Ow. Just know that there's a scent in the air. You guys uh, smell Barry, that? Oh. Barry definitely uh, smells it and begins to, like, just stop in his way. And he's just kind of, like, being aware everywhere, or listening in everywhere. And he kind of, like, points into a direction. Uh... As in, what what are you guys wanting to do? Barry is kind of picking up on the smell. He, he knows exactly. Like he points in the direction of where it's coming from. Okay. Um, Kazin is going to poke Seamus awake. Uh, uh, gee, uh. Off the bear. She's having short rest. <laughs> short rest. Got it off the bear, and Kazian's gonna hop up on Barry and just kind of give him a little uh, you know, just pat on the head and direct him to follow his nose. And he's gonna take the halberd out, so I'm able to strike from mounted. Okay. Uh, you begin to make your way through. Are you doing this stealthily, or what? I'm riding a bear. Okay, then and actually, we'll take, or... I'll take the longbow out. So I can stealth. Weren't you walking because uh, what's his name is on the bear? Shame I know. Him. I just kicked him off. Oh, um, roll yes. me very stealth. Oof, that's that's only a plus one. Oof. Okay. Eighteen, still pretty good. Very nice. Okay, he's a bear in a in the forest. I'm you know not surprised. Um, as you begin to make your way up, you come across what is a uh, cave entrance, but scattered around the cave, you see what is eight sleeping drakes. 
You cannot tell what the colors are, being with that dark vision does not give you color. Um, but you can definitely see that they are... No, I do have dark vision. You do have dark vision. Half elves. I forget shit. Um, to yeah, so no Kazian idea. is going to just kind of put a hand up to stop and then just point at Dracus and make a mun like munchy teeth munchy teeth with his hand and then mm. point forward and hold up eight. Oh. And he's he's got an arrow knocked in his bow that's kind of sitting in his lap right now. So once he's done badly hand signaling, he just lifts his uh his bow with the arrow knocked. Begin okay. to hear the voice of your bow being like master. Yeah. What are you doing? Kazian's just going to think being being sneaky. Why? Because I don't want to die. <laughs> and Kazian isn't saying that out loud. That's all just thought in his head. You. Jerry will be sneaky. <laughs> I'm going to try. Um, Reyna's going to pull out her long sword too. Based um, on the the map, can I figure out where we are? Um, yes. Um, you're about halfway right now. Okay, halfway to the tower? Yeah. Kazin's gonna kind of look around. Uh, do the drakes appear normal from what he understands of them, or do they seem like they are corrupted? They look like they are actually completely normal. Um, so uh, if we need, I can we summon make a perception eight check panthers. Us, yeah. <laughs> who, who's uh, whatever. Perception who? I was going to have you make a perception check, but I'm just like, fuck it, I already told you. My passive <laughs> is 15. Okay, then yeah, you would you would be able to tell that there's no, it doesn't seem from where you are that there are any pustules or anything like that on the drakes. They just seem to be sleeping. Okay, and I don't know much about dragons, so it's not like I can ask about the horns or anything. Do any of them have a mustache? One of them has like the 80s Tom Selleck mustache. You can make the a perfect check. mustache, you mean to say. I will make a perception check to see if there is a Tom Selleck mustache. <laughs> As I sure hope there is. With my plus five to perception. 16. They do not have mustaches, sadly. Okay. We all uh, weep today. Kazian's gonna kind of look at everybody and just be like, "Meh." I mean, he, he, using the bad hand signs again, he's essentially gonna be like, "Attack or go around." Dracus is gonna kind of sound "go around." Um, uh, I'm imagining "go around" is like we put our foot <laughs> on there and then just draw. Oh, sure. half, we we draw like half a circle. Dracus, make a performance check. <laughs> you. He's imitating what I just did. No. But does he understand? And is he able to do it correctly? I just want to make him roll. Just, just let me have this cast. No, 23. <laughs> Never. 23. You can definitely be able to communicate what you need to say. You no longer have to make rolls for that shit. <laughs> yeah, so, like, go around is what Cassian's asking. Because he's he's got that twinkle in his eye of, we didn't bring anything back for the hunt. Oh. I mean, I'm not participating. That's good to know. Uh, and Cassian's going to look at Reyna and get her opinion, too. Just needs to have, get, like, little communicators um, or something like that. <laughs> I need the earrings from Vox Machina. <laughs> that have fucking message on them. Or yeah. the telepathy feet. Reyna's yeah. just kind of going to... telepathy tattoos. <laughs> Reyna's going to shrug. <laughs> Because she's kind of cool with either way. So Cassian will look at Seamus as the uh, tiebreaker. Um, so he wants to go around just because he's not participating in this game and he doesn't want to murder things that are minding their own business. Okay, so Cassian will uh, slide off Barry and begin to stealth forward, leading the group around. Right, we'll roll a stealth check for you and Barry now. Okay, so this is for me, and I'm trying to remember. No, this isn't Guild City, so I don't have advantage. 
22. For some reason, it put it above my thing. Okay. And then this one's for Barry. Nat 20 for Barry. <laughs> Nice. You guys are able to easily traverse your way through the small uh, bits of forest, not hitting any twigs or anything like that. Barry being almost as stealthy as you. <laughs> and you guys make it back to the group and are not beginning to be on your way again. Please make another survival check for me. And this time, Kazian will be leading with the map. Okay. Advantage as well. Five and plus five, another natural twenty with a total of twenty-five. You guys are very, you guys are making good, uh, really good uh, way through the forest. <laughs> Everything. Fuck I was expecting you guys to be a little bit longer. Should I, should I roll a d one hundred? Uh sure, you can roll a d. I'll let you roll the d one hundred this time. Seventy-two. Seventy-two. Okay, let me put here. You get caught in a time loop. Knock on wood. Um, Don't tell me we literally got caught in a time loop. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Um, We're just going to die from this. No, you're not going to die. Just don't be stupid in this next in a couple turns. <laughs> um, That's how I die. <laughs> don't tell Cassian not to be stupid. That's like 90% of what he does. You guys, as you begin to walk closer and or make your way closer and closer, being able to move quite quickly as a uh, ranger and moving through the forest, you enter into what is, it seems to be a little bit of a clearing, and you see um, small rocks upon mounds of dirt. Small and rocks. there are, yes, small rocks. Uh, they seem to be marking these piles of dirt. Um, there are some that are small. There are some that are not very, very big. Um, make a... Dirt, or it's a, a cemetery. Reina. Also, you're a little bit robotic. Okay. Reina, please yes. make me a religion check. So it doesn't relate to Dracus's uh, celestial <laughs> dragon. Or sorry, that was Blaze's. Yeah. yeah the useful one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Y'all spicy shit. right now. Shit, man. 25. No, I'm just giving him shit. And there's another natural. No, yeah. That, okay. that was the art. I'm religious, okay. <laughs> okay. Good job. Religiously. Uh, religious. Reina with that hardcore 20. I mean, that's like. Four or five we've had so hardcore far. Hardcore 20, you guys. Hardcore. Like, five, yeah. Um, looking around, you have lived in a, uh, basically a church area. What comes with churches are graveyards. This looks to be a type of graveyard. None of the graves are quite marked, but looking at the sizes and such, uh, it seems a bit animalistic, but still there's a reverence within the air of this place. Um, do you know that it's probably going to be a good idea not to tread on any of these graves and to make sure that you guys are staying um, away from the different things in here? Um, Raina's going to tell everybody to, um, she's going to say, go ahead and avoid the graves there's it's just going to be better if you just don't go near them famous you can make me a uh nature check if you wish i will do that thing you just said she is also rain is also going to like say a little prayer to her god sif say a little prayer for me okay sorry she, to resist. uh seamus i'm going to change that make it a oh. knowledge check uh, just Sorry. A, a, what what kind of knowledge check? Just intelligence. Just a straight knowledge. Just a straight intelligence. Dang it! I was a I was proficient in nature. God damn it! <laughs> it's been a while. You don't remember this area at all. I don't like that. <laughs> um. Do you guys continue? Well, I mean, yeah, I would avoid the graves carefully. But... Yeah. 
Make dexterity checks, you guys, as you go to walk through this graveyard. Dex checks? Everybody? Yes, or everybody. Dex check. It's Please check for the dex. dex checks for me. Okay. God damn it! I'm trying to do anything crazy. Remember to say what you rolled, Noodle, for the eight. podcast. I got an eight. And that's a dirty 20 for Cassie. I hate you and everything you stand for. <laughs> 15 for Reyna. <laughs> Okay, Dracus. Uh, if he's rolled already, minute. no, he hasn't. A resident monk. Dirty 20. Very nice. Yes, yes, yes. How's so everybody feel about today's thing? game? It feels a little yes. bit of like uh, Bob Ross. It feels yeah, kind of yeah. relaxed. It's really nice. Yeah. I slept in a bear. Yeah. <laughs> you slept on an owl bear. I mean, what's the difference? Uh, one has an owl head. I, I know. I tear you limb from limb. This one was a joke a where I'm playfully D and D racist. That was the <laughs> kind of butt of this joke. Where I, where I'm racist well, as long against D and D racist. Drakus, yeah, where are you? <laughs> he's he's AFK, but he I roll rest for him. in peace, Drakus. <laughs> Thank you for rolling for him. him. Yeah, he got a 20. (laughs) Please, for the love of God, do it. The monk (laughs) fell over dead, unfortunately. What is Dracus's dex? Just somebody tell me, and I'll just roll. (laughs) Well, I already already rolled. She rolled for him. He got a 20. Oh, she did? Oh, okay. I just didn't upload for me. Sorry. Dirty 20. Okay. You all are able to make it very nicely through this. No, you're all pretty decently reverent, especially Reina. You knowing exactly how to kind of maintain graves. You actually take a moment to Woo. say a slight prayer in reverent. And notice that maybe one of the graves God were a little bit really up. Stuck actually head. go to help. Um, Seamus. Hi. Walking- through not really like just being like this is weird you accidentally see yourself step into an actual grave fuck well that's not good you did not so do you say i see myself doing this or do i uh you like kind of look around (laughs) looking like taking it all in you accidentally put your foot forward in it enters straight into a dirt mound of a grave. Uh, what happens, Doc? Over already. <laughs> Give me one second as I have to look this thing up. Oh, damn. I just, like, imagine there's, like, a dramatic sound and everyone stops moving and looks back. <laughs> you, look hear, like... you hear within, the, within your mind's eye. Like, you just hear it in your head what seems to be like a screaming. You don't know where it's coming from. Nobody else hears this. And uh, you look oh. up, you see a face coming from the uh, trees, its mouth gaping open and hooded, its eyes completely synced inside of it in itself. And I need you to make a constitu- constitution save. A constitution save? Yes. All right. I'm not particularly constitutus. I don't th- think that's how you say that word, but I'm saying it anyway. God damn it! Three! Oh, Three! No. Fucking, I've got no roll above a five naturally so far. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Another game where I die hey. in round one. <laughs> hey, this is technically the second episode, so uh, you've lived longer here. I guess that's true. Yes. Cassian and Dracus, you hear a thud drop to the ground. And you. You look at uh, what is famous. Yeah, Cassian's spinning around bow raised. Yeah, Dracus is going to spin around. You've seen there. this once before. This instant drop, life exiting the body. I need you all to roll initiative. Fuck. We should have just fought the Drakes. 
You know, we just fought the Drake. Always fight the monster. <laughs> As I am now going Nat to set up twenty this on initiative. <laughs> what the fuck today. Cassian, <laughs> I Cassian Dracus, will you please make uh Dirty twenty knowledge rolls. Eighteen, uh, a decent insight. roll. I'll do insight. Uh, yeah, good job, Seamus. Uh, you're going to be making death saves on your turn. Yeah, but I mean, it gives me. <laughs> Listen, I'm sad, but it's fine. <laughs> so what are we rolling? Oh, this is the thing that the uh, thing initiative did. right now. Um, and then after you're done rolling initiative, please make uh, uh, insight checks. On yourself. Insight? Yes, insight. Eight for Cassie. That's a He's 15 for my already. initiative, a 19 for my insight. Okay. I honestly should just switch these D4s for D6s, but... um, What did you roll for your insight? 19. 19? And I rolled an 8. This uh, vaguely one reminds to... me of uh, that incident with Wendy's character. Yes. Yep. As you look at this, you remember being the first one to see Wendy's character, uh, Abel, drop and his actual body. And you remember exactly what caused it and the fight that ensued upon it. As you begin to look over and into the, the eyes of what is a Bodak. Don't like that. Fuck, not again. Not At least we're like double the level compared to last time. Hmm? Yeah, you guys are definitely doubled. Um, okay. But we're I half the strength. Down. I told Seamus, him not to step on the green. As he is. Okay, I'm going to put Seamus right there yeah. on that, that area right there. Um... Okay, um, and let me roll for the Bodak real quick. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> it rolled a natural 20 on its initiative. There you go, Duran. <laughs> okay, who else rolled a natural 20? I know who else did that. Kazian oh, rolled a nat 20 on his... Okay, 20 uh, to 20. Oh, I need to roll Barry still. Reina had a dirty 20. Oh, am I an emote now? <laughs> yeah, I made your thing an emote because I had it. Nice. Okay. Uh, 20 to 25. Uh, uh, Kazian, 22. Okay. I'm, I think I'm the only one that rolled that high. Kazian, 22. Reyna, 20. Uh, Reyna is you want 20. me to keep Thank track you. of this? Uh, I'm writing it down. Right now, uh, fifteen to twenty. Reina was a twenty. Dracus was a fifteen. Seamus, you were an eighteen, right? Yes. Okay. So, eighteen is Seamus, and then Dracus is last. And Barry rolled a seven. Barry rolled a seven. Uh, yeah, I what, almost forgot to Dracus, roll. Dracus, what did uh, you roll? 15. 15? Okay, so then it'll be Dracus and then Barry. Okay, and then let me put all these minis down. Um, please keep in mind, stay away from the graves, obviously. Um, and yeah, let me put all these freaking... Where are all my minis? <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Remember, campaign gifts is where you can post the combat map. Okay. Uh, You're a campaign gift. What the hell happened to all my minis? Where the hell did they all go? I need to go Search buy more. Son. Um, probably. Probably my son. You have you have um, a four-year-old, right? He's four? No, he's two. Two. Okay. Yeah, he definitely stole them. Yeah, probably. Um... Well, actually, let me send you guys a picture, and then you tell me where you want to go. Um, but, Seamus, I am deciding where you are going. Oh, <laughs> uh, I wanted yeah, to pick. And just I, be as far away from this thing so, as possible. Reina, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would have assumed Kazian would have stepped back and let you lead the group through, um, since you identified it. So he would have been behind wherever Reina is, with Barry 
either behind or beside him. Okay. Okay. Works so... for me. Okay. Okay. I honestly should probably put some trees. Oh, okay. There's all my other minis. <laughs> okay. I have them all here now. Okay, I'm sending this picture to you guys. I'm sorry. I'm just like, oh, shit, I didn't expect battle today. <laughs> and I will put in battle music in the edit. Okay, but I'm going to put it in the obvious dice issues with uh, our music bot. I will uh, <clears throat> not be using it. So that's the battle map. Seamus, you're right there in front. The thing in front is the Bodak. So St. Oh, James yeah. is on the ground, things straight yeah. to the side with the Bodak. Yes. And we were traveling from the left side to the... Yeah, left side to the right side? Or no, uh, right side to the left side? Yes. So Bodak was behind yes. us? Uh, Bodak is to the side of you guys. So say that all these graves... Oh, are we were like traveling like way? south to north? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I will put down some trees really quick, actually. <laughs> also, whoever phone isn't muted, please mute. Because I'm hearing Facebook a dings. Oh, that's probably me. I thought it was me because oh, I got no, a message the at the same time. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's all good. Just reminding. Okay. Four. And this is like a slight clearing, so. Um, understand that these are like trees and stuff like that. All right, where do you guys? Nine and then ten. Okay. Let me send a secondary picture of the new updated oh. thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? Listen, I'm stressed, okay? <laughs> These battles are not fun. <laughs> no, because you almost kill us a lot. I know. Is, At least we have I... healers this time. Yeah. I'm a healer, <laughs> one could argue. You're a little more prepared I, now. I was counting you as one of the healers. Because mm -hmm. the last okay. time we fought one of these, it was Okay, Drakus, there's the updated thing. Kazian, I don't know if you guys can see all Windy. the numbers and stuff of the trees, but yeah. Tell me, what you, tell me where you want to go. Tell me where you want to go. Um, Reyna would probably be um, on the right side of the graves, like not even walking like be between them. So you'd be uh, like the top corner by the the upside down four. Yes. A blue four. Uh, uh, tan. Yeah. Tan far. Okay, so right about there. Okay. Kazian would be uh, with Barry in between that aisle just to the left and slightly behind her. So between the six and the four, the blue ones. The six and the four. Okay. Yeah. A little bit ahead of Seamus, but almost beside him. Okay, so you guys are more on like that one end and stuff. Uh, so Seamus would have been like right next to you and probably have just dropped. Ooh, but were we traveling to... south to north or north to south? Um, so where the five is, that would be your south, and then the north is the three, or the number three, white die. Okay, so that, that's what I was asking, is which direction were we traveling, from five traveling to three or north. three to five? Okay, Dracus, okay. where do you want to be? Or is he still not of it aware? He came back right for here. a minute. He died. Yeah. I'm here, I'm trying to decide. <laughs> um, so uh, Rainy went in first, correct? Yeah. And she then was, uh, Kaz him and so I would be at the back. So put me near. Um, I'd say over there, but between two and four. Uh, by tree number six, or is that not? Yeah, that's six. Four. Okay, so on the other lane. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Let me take a new picture. Tell me if this is all right. Is good with that? Uh, yeah, I'm down. Once yeah. it uploads for That'll me. That'll work. 
There it is. Where the heck is my dice tray? Okay, I guess I'm gonna use one of these. Whatever. Um, all right. So first to go. Um, I've seen you begin. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, can't use one of those there. Um, Reina, you yeah. begin to feel a shiver down the back of your spine. A uh, voice enters into your mind and a shrill begins to seize you. I need you to make a constitution save. Okay, you just barely be able to like not flush this not voice out of your mind and you're able to look and you make direct eye contact with what you see is now a Bodak. <laughs> <laughs> you would have known this through your cleric training and your ability to be able to identify undead easily. Um, you know this to be a very strong undead. Okay. Maybe more on like the not medium high scale of undead. Put me in, oh, coach. Great. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> oh, especially against this thing, it's possible. You think All I'm right. joking? I'm gonna eat it. Put me in, coach. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, uh, and then after that, it is okay. Do 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 do. I believe. Goodness, you guys, I am like, fuck. <laughs> um, everybody within 30 feet of it needs to, um, except for Seamus, uh, you guys each take five points of necrotic damage. If you're down, I'm not going to make you uh, make the, uh, or take the damage um, because you're not able to, like, really have it enter into your presence from its Aurora of Annihilation. Um, so pick Aurora, 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 Aurora. What did I say? What did you I say? You said Aurora, said Aurora, Aurora. Like Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, oh, okay. But it's Aura. Or not to Dox, but also words. the name of my sister. <laughs> it's then, okay. Yes. Okay, Donna next has up dyslexia. is Kazian. What are you doing? Uh, Kazian, knowing what this is, is going to try and put two arrows in its fucking face. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Um, do you want to move? Because it technically has half cover where you are. Um, and I will say that this, the mound step... they didn't really like emphasize it though, is that they are quite high up. So it does. Yeah, no, Kazian like, would step around. You guys need to uh, avoid those. So if to I can move step... around them, I will be having you guys making dex checks. Yeah, no, if I can step um, just a few steps forward so that I can see him, so that I'm essentially beside the mound, so I can use it for cover, if that makes sense. Yes, uh, please make a dexterity check to try not to touch the mound. Or to, mm -hmm. like, just avoid it without damaging it. Dexterity check. I'll say it is a DC 13. All right, so that's a plus two. Come on, natural 20! Nice. All right. You are able to kind of just maneuver yourself correctly around the mound and get a good, clear, like a decently clear shot. You still think that it might have some cover, but you're definitely able to release an arrow okay. against so it. So let's fire a couple of arrows. And these are, because I've had them for a while, the, They're acid. Uh, I have, yeah, I have the 11 acid arrows left. So first attack, 25 to hit. That will definitely hit. All right, second attack is a nat one. Okay, that's not going to hit. Um, oh, I need oh, you to make another oh. save as you go to, uh, f as you fumble an arrow and try and catch it before it touches the ground. Okay, so give me one second. I'm going to roll damage for that first attack. It will attack. mark off a. Uh, um, so that was not, seven uh, damage for the first attack. And then this is the dex okay. check, is a 19. Um, so do, do I, I lose an arrow D6. or did I save it? 
you add an extra D6 oh, to your... Oh, thank uh, you for reminding yeah. me. Yep. Uh, plus D6. So that's eight damage. Eight damage. Okay, thank you. And then uh, did I lose the extra arrow? Or what did you get? Uh, 19. Uh, 19, you are able, like... It dissipates one of your shots, but you're able to kind of, like, catch it because it you notched it, began to release it, and then you fumbled it off. So it's okay. still... So I, I the use power, the... That, that, that's you're able to, like, catch it before it, like, not. disturbs the... But I still yeah, have the physical the arrow. Yeah, yeah, you guys are, like... You guys are in like a mixture of a rock and a hard place right now. <laughs> it's okay. I still have over 250 arrows in the bag of holding. <laughs> of course you do. Welcome <laughs> to the D&D, D&D, everybody. Yeah. Okay. So it took you have a bag of holding. Damage, right? Fill it with arrows and never worry about it. Um, so yeah, eight points of damage. And then. Um, All right. Uh, uh, think next I can do anything with the rest of your turn? Okay. Right uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Your turn. What would you like to do? Um, let's see. Reyna is going to use... Um, she's going to use her um, Guiding Bolt spell. Okay. Okay. Uh, against it, please roll to hit. Yes. Oh, fuck. But I just have to remember that next time. I realized Which, they had a bonus action thing I could have done. Yeah. Do you? Did you realize that? I, <laughs> yeah, you know, having those please levels in Ranger, shit. there's something that I really should have used. That's yeah, a fort. Remember your shit, you guys. If you forget it, then it's gone. Yeah, so. it's been a while, so I'll just have to do it next time. Okay. Oh, you mean Hunter's Mark? A... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, 14. Very nice. It's a 14. 14 to hit? It's a 14 hit. Yeah. Okay, so you go to cast the bolt, um, and as it goes, you seem to think that you have, like, a straight shot, and then for some reason, right as it gets really close, it dissipates and shoots towards the tree next to it, and it fizzles. Damn. Yeah. Um, as a bonus action, I'm going to um, use spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon? Okay. Yes. Um, where I'm guessing you would like it right next to the uh, the bodak. Agreed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to have it be a fiery D12. That it will be right next to the bodak. Okay, cool. In um, universe, that D12 is a flaming sword, isn't it? It looks like a a uh, light of a flaming sword. So. Okay. Um. And then it will be in the shape of a long sword. Okay. Flaming long sword. Very nice. Um, it can't, uh, it can't attack it? this. Okay. I couldn't remember if it could hit or not this time. It can. You can totally, um, when you cast it, you can roll the hit with it on the same turn. Yep. What's the thing in Pokemon where it can't, or no, in uh, Magic the Gathering where it can't attack for the first round? Summoning Sickness? Yeah. Yes. Unless it has haste. Yeah. So the spiritual weapons have haste. Oh, I'm being a dumbass and mixed it up for the Hearthstone. I was like, no, I think it's Rush. Well, Jeez. that's, that's a right. That's charge. It's a 13 to hit with your spiritual yeah. weapon. Yeah. Um, it goes, and you see your spiritual weapon, and it, the aura around the Bodak just kind of keeps it from being able to hit it, as it that seems to just like hit a force among it and just not not be able to take. Sad day. All right, next up, I believe in miracles. Uh, Seamus, make me a death save, please. Speaking of miracles, yeah, I guess I'll die. Uh, <laughs> a miracle to humanity and the market. Uh, that's a six, dog. That's a fail. Oh, if I get hit, I'm dead. <laughs> if anyone has a heal, now's the time to keep that in mind. Oh, no, I was thinking right, about next? that already. Who's next? <laughs> 
locked around. Oh, you. This is going to get rough, you guys. <laughs> yeah, because you keep using this thing. You know it's going to get rough when listen, you include Bodax. Bod Bodax are like <laughs> challenge rating five or six, right? Like it's not that hard of an enemy for this party, right? Mm. <laughs> uh, I underestimate you. I'm dead, so I don't. I don't that's not even me. You I have, have no idea what's going I on. Um, I have a plan if turn. I get back up, but that's a big if. They are a CR6. Okay. okay. I found my uh, notes Drakus, from last time. it is your time. turn. Trying not to metagame. Give me a right second. Now. I'm counting oh, squares. Counting what? What are you counting? Oh, he's your movement? Counting squares. He's figuring out where he can go. Uh, so... I want to move right up to this fucking thing and hit it like a son of a bitch. That monk movement, yo. Okay. Um, please make dexterity saves. Are you just moving straight in? Well, if I go one, two, three, four up, one over, one, two, three, four up, that's my max movement speed. Um, make a perception check for me. For me. Real quick, just as a free action. Okay, you totally see the Bodak. Um, make one uh, dexterity check for me, or make two dexterity checks as you go to go around these graves. DC thirteen. It's a nine. You hit and break one of the graves. You're able to move through and then move up. Um, make another dexterity save. Or dex check. Sorry, not a save. Check. Raina, I hope you have sanctuary prepared, because if we survive this, we should... Okay. You successfully go through that one without destroying the grave, and you were able to move straight up to the Bodak. Please make your attacks. And I would like to make an unarmed strike. So. Okay. Don't forget your uh, lightning. Yes. I hope you've marked off your uh, usage of it from last he time. didn't use it last time. He never hit anything. <laughs> uh, Could he hit the. Uh, he hit once. Did he? Uh, we'll yeah. That will be a... They use two charges. 15 and oh. a 22. Both hit. And I'm going to be smacking the son of a bitch like so. Thirteen points of damage. Thirteen oh, points. Okay. That music. Yeah, it makes it so much more intense, but it's kind of an eerie. I'm gonna see if I can find a Discord bot really quick. I've been okay, looking that. for just I haven't found one I liked. Yeah, because zero two because of their load, they uh, are requiring Patreon service to be able to play music. Um, okay. Groovy bot's pretty solid. That's what I use. Okay. Groovy bot. Mm -hmm. Attention, everybody. Groovy bot. It's a solid uh, Discord it's app. Solid. Yeah. It's solid. All it right. Let, it lets um, you use Drake and you Spotify. You slam and this nice. uh, Bodak for two punches right into its ghastly form. And it's, just, as, and it's like hitting basically a punching bag, only it wiggles a little bit more. And it smells absolutely raunchy. <laughs> okay. It is time for the area effect now. Um, so, actually, wait. Uh, Barry's turn, I believe. Yes, it is yes. Barry's turn. Um, I would like to have Barry move up, because uh, Dracus is on the south side of the Bodak, correct? Yes. I would like Barry to flank the Bodak. He has 40 feet of movement, so I believe that should be doable without him touching any of the graves. Uh, just to be able to move through the graves, do you want him to go, like, around? Or go through yeah. where you are and where Seamus is. Or... Uh, I want him to go through where Seamus is. Okay. Uh, Seamus is there, so it does become a bit of an obstacle. And he is a 5 e rule. Large. Allies can move through other allies without issue. Okay. Get wrecked. Okay. 
Get that one is actually on. a game rule. I will say this as well. He is a very large owl bear. Yeah, that's why I'm I'm so letting you decide. I want him to get there. Ideally, I would like him to check. flank, and I can do dex check. Yeah. Just make a sense dex check. Barry has uh you know not the greatest dex. In the he's world. gonna he's gonna if he's going around with Shane, he's gonna end up okay, he's good. He's able to go around the tree, squeeze himself through, and he is flanking with Dracus. Um and he is going to uh let's see he's going to bite the motherfucker ah damn right his, oh, his beaky oh. he's going to bite the bodak okay bite the oh, bodak and that's oh. a 21 to hit that'll hit uh and i'll should i roll since it would be advantage but it would only be rolling to see if he gets a crit yeah uh, i'll roll it. just to see if he gets the crit okay he doesn't okay and then damage is a 10 plus 8 18 damage very nice yes yes you shusha also my dog's growling in the background <laughs> okay um good job you guys bodak's looking kind of rough uh you... put me in coach put me in <laughs> as nice. uh you guys now go through the graves uh the grave right next to Seamus, you, uh, Kazian, you see the earth break and you see a claw come out and grab Seamus's leg and begin to drag him under uh, the uh, dirt. I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. And then from the other side, you, you see the other grave break that uh, Dracus was uh, disturbed and you see what is a uh, large tiger, undead in form and just like you Great. it's like that uh be yeah it's it is behind you and i actually have a tiger mini so i'm gonna freaking put that there mm -hmm. so oh. shitty hey. little deal. that's that's tight that's good to know <laughs> <laughs> so let me put that down as right someone there. who can summon tigers i like that information yes. okay and I'm going to send a picture really quick. Uh, first tiger is going to go actually right behind Kazian and flank with the other one and attack you with advantage. <laughs> uh, Wonderful. Yep. That's loud. Yeah. Okay. So 15... That's loud? That's at 15% volume on my end. Yes, because yeah. you gotta turn it down, dogs. Yeah, but Groovy doesn't give you volume control unless you pay it, them. It does. Not like server volume control, but you can... No, I, I manually turned it down on my end. You guys... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not loud for me, but that's because I use Groovy, so it's already at 20% for me. Yeah. But it's not um, for everyone. But that way, we at least have music. And then it should default to just looping, right? Uh, with songs? Yeah. Have you have to turn it down yourself. Oh. Use That's what we just boy. said. Use your big boy pants. You right-click on the groovy in the voice thing, and then you just drag the user volume. So this will work until I can find I a replacement. Give me one second, you guys. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, I believe you can do that on phone, too. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm going to see if I have repeat. There we go. Now it's looping the queue. Okay. I gotta switch this around really quick. I'm one I'm moment while we figure out our technical stuff because we're having to use a new bot because zero two bot sucks. They're shaking you down. Well, literally, their thing when you try and do music says, oh, due to our increased usage during the lockdowns, we, uh, you know, need extra server load. It's like, okay, that's that's one thing to ask people to donate, but to make it a Patreon requirement to actually use something that's like probably what 70, uh, uh, like 70 percent of people use a good chunk of that bot for is kind of annoying. Uh, OK, I thought you were saying that 70 percent of people yeah. use zero, too. And I was going to say, I've no, never seen it on another right, server. Yeah, My guess is 70 percent of the people that do use it, use it for the music server. Yeah. Okay. And it's like, 
Yeah, right. if you were nice it's about it. It's going to slice at you, good sir. Uh, no, no. We have a newer map. Um, it is a plus six to hit. Okay. Uh, does a 19 hit you? Uh, let us see. It's been a while since I've checked my age. Uh, it would, but Kazian is going to use his reaction to cast shield. So my AC is now 23. Until uh, my next actually, turn. can you make a strength save? Because I just looked this up. It can make a uh, pounce attack against you. Okay. Uh, so it's going to do that. And does then... it have to roll the pounce attack? No. It's it had twenty feet behind it. It ran up to you. Oh, it, it becomes uh, so it's a grapple. It's essentially a, a competing grapple. Yes, and it's a, it's a bonus action to do it. So, okay, strength save. You said yes. DC fourteen. How's a twenty six sound? You're able to keep yourself away from it, and it does not hit you with its first attack. Sixteen plus six. That'll be a twenty two. Does that pass your shield? No. Um, okay. I would have cast so shield just... on that attack then, which would, whichever attack first hit me, I would have cast shield on and my AC would have been 23 until my next okay. turn. Okay, then no, it does not hit you, but you have this undead tiger right next to you, uh, scaring the shit out of you, and you see a hand that grabs out from the ground, and you see pulled up um, what is essentially a... Uh, let me roll this. A, uh... Fuck, what the hell is that thing? Give me a crazy monster, or a crazy creature. That would be in the forest. Uh, feral squirrel. I'll say a bear. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we'll go with a feral squirrel. I don't give a shit. We, we can sure. call it a dire squirrel to help for size. Okay. Cool. Or a raccoon. A dire raccoon. It's dead. Undead uh, yeah. uh, dire something. It's like grabbed Seamus's pant leg and began to drag it down into the dirt. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and... I will tell you it's almost 5 o'clock. And really? I don't know if other people have things that are scheduled like home games. It's oh, 7.30. Shit. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, 7 Point. almost for uh, uh yeah it's able to move Seamus into it uh I don't like that not a fan of yeah. that yeah. Seamus, you guys you just like killing me don't ground. you we don't Seamus, do it on purpose I'm ground. teasing don't worry <laughs> <laughs> it just happens a lot <laughs> okay next up is the Bodak it is I'm we're gonna try and make this quick you guys uh I'm about is to going die. to use All those it's, new uh uh Drakus, please make a constitution save this has never been Drakus is a strong suit. I know. <laughs> Roll it. Roll with the power of Kazian. I said Kazian. <laughs> not oh Twig. My fucking god. <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta I gotta double check this. Dono. Okay. I said it last time and I'll say it again. No more boat axe. <laughs> just don't let me die. They are their CR is not equivalent to what they actually are. I know. Uh, Drakus, you drop to that. Dra Drakus, you drop to the ground as your eyes roll back and you fall prone to the ground. Uh, you will be making death saves on your next turn. Uh, and then everybody that can see the Bodak within thirty feet is uh so going to take five points um except for those that are down because you guys cannot see it as you are down so that's how i'm gonna rule that so five points of necrotic damage okay and could i get an updated map so i know where i'm standing yes yes i yes, literally went from full health to all my death saves in one move yeah we we talked about this last time don't know yeah, I got I this. Don't even worry about me, dog. Just <laughs> heal me up, Tony totally and Coach. I have don't like worry three... about. Don't have worry like... about the uh, guest that's about to fucking die. Oh no! Like worry about <laughs> oh, no. me. But I was going I'm to off, help I'm him. I'm good. <laughs> I was going to help him, and then you just had to do your thing. Listen, you rolled it, okay? 
Listen, you rolled it. <laughs> Check out the new you rolled it t-shirts available. I don't, think, I don't even know if you guys have a merch. You sent me we merch. Don't. So I'm we don't. We need to, to assume set up there a merch should be store. a store. There's not a store yet. Uh, where did I have merch? Where did it come I from? I know. We ordered it. I'm wearing <laughs> okay. mine right now. Okay. I'm not, but I. I okay. I, I, uh, next up, Cassian. What support. are you doing? Can I? I'll take an opportunity attack, but can. Wait, where did this thing get advantage? It's not flanked. It's flanked with the thing in the ground. No, it isn't. It's not opposite sides. Well, I can't quite move it. I, I, I'll move it into the spot then if you want to be Mr. Pinky. <laughs> yeah, because if it's going to flank me, it should flank me. Okay, it's flanking you now. If you're going to flank it, me, flank me. Otherwise, can you not... you're flying. Listen, if no, you want to um, get particular, I can let I'm the death gaze go up against you next. It. <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna run around to Seamus, really quick. Oh, hello, it's me. I'm unconscious. Um, I me. know I'm gonna take an opportunity attack, but my AC. Uh, let me check how shield works. Uh, just to see when it drops. Doo -doo -doo, sorry. Uh, until my next turn. So I'm I'm my AC is back to normal. Okay. Um, so, AC's yeah, I'll normal. take opportunity attack from that guy. Okay, and you're moving out of the space? I'm, uh, the no, I'm moving to Seamus. Oh, to Seamus? Okay. Yeah, so that I can moving touch around. him. Okay. Uh, it's going to make an opportunity attack against you. That was two <laughs> natural ones. I'm dying. That Kelvin. was two natural ones. Listen, it's Sweet. important to have a map up open, and I don't have a map of the world, so I have a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, shit. And... It also okay. does really good sound stopping, so we're good. So I'm going to use my action to cast uh, Cure Wounds. Okay. Which You're is a, hero a among D8 friends. plus my spellcasting modifier, which for Rangers is my wisdom, so that's a plus two, so... A D8 plus two. So you got three HP, Seamus. It's not I'm much. Up, okay. Dog. <gasps> um, so. <sighs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. Oh, God. Something's got my leg. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not done yet. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Sign up now for a special TV offer. <laughs> uh, and then I am going to burn my... Let me make sure I still have it. Yes, I do. I'm going to burn my action surge. Okay. And I am going to fire two arrows at the Bodak. Okay, do it. And since action surge gives me a full action and bonus action, before I fire them, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. Hunter's Mark. Boom. And most of my spells action. are gone like that, but he has Hunter's Mark on him. Which okay. means I get to do even more extra damage. Okay. Uh... Do, do, do. Ooh, how much am I rolling here? That's okay. D20 plus eight. First attack is an 18. That'll hit. Second attack is a 21. That'll hit. And then I'll just roll all the damage together. Woo! So that's uh, two D8 plus two D6. No, three. Let me check something with Hunter's Mark, because I can't remember if the damage procs every time or only on the first hit. It's... I believe it's every attack, yeah. right? Yeah, it should be every attack. Let me double check. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Whenever you hit it with a weapons attack. So, 4d6. Yep. Nice. Uh, and plus my bonus, which is a 3, so plus 6. So that's 21 damage. 21 damage. You see this these two uh, arrows. One shoots right into one eye, and the other one is knocked and shot into the other, and you begin to see the face yeah. melt as the Bodak dies. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gone, leaving nothing more than the coat it came in. in. All nice. righty. And uh, with that, Kazian's going to end his turn, and yep. he is panic breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Make a wisdom save. Memory. For me. <laughs> yeah, you you know what the fuck happened last time. <laughs> I'll say it's a DC ten. 
11. 11. You do not <laughs> go into a fast. panic attack. <laughs> no, he's, he's not that bad. But he's okay. just like, oh uh, my fucking Rakus, god. Wakus, please make a death save for me. Isn't it Rainer's turn next? It is, but I'm just going to... Much gonna... over much, Dirty. Natural. Uh, oh no, that's a. It's a dirty. death save. It's a dirty twenty. It's a death save. It's dirty. Yeah, you, you don't have any modifier on your on death it. save, Dracus. So sorry, uh, sorry. I uh, hit a uh, um, what you call it um, macro. Macro. But that's it was an eighteen. You rolled right. an eighteen, so that's a positive. Okay, now you guys can go do whatever the heck you're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> We're still dirty. in combat, so... A yes, dirty death 20. You're There's up. a tiger. Um, actually, as you go to kill the Bodak, you also see the bodies of the creatures nearby drop. Oh. Okay. So, Seamus, mm -hmm. you're no longer being uh, dragged into the grave. You do have your foot slightly in there, which is freaky as all hell. I can just uh, but take yeah. that out, though, right, Don? <laughs> yeah, you can easily take that out. It was. A, is it's there tiny. still a tiger? Uh, it's gone. It's like it's not gone, but the body's like dropped, and you can see that it's like rotted flesh, and its okay. teeth are exposed. So we're it's out of yellow. combat, is what you're saying? Yes, you're out of combat. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run right over to Dracus and give him a good old fashioned cure wounds. Okay, good job. Ain't nothing. Uh, I'm gonna do a second level, but I I don't okay. know Dracus well enough. I'm not breaking out the good heals for the stranger. <laughs> We, okay. keep, we keep the good heels for guests. <laughs> Last time I checked, I'm the guest. <laughs> the guests well, he is... <laughs> the people that saved your life. Well, he's doing... Reyna would um, try to rebury the um, remains. Thank you. Okay. Um, Kazian uh... is going to... Uh, as Reyna's doing that, he's going to turn to her and be like, do you happen to know any funeral rites that will prevent these things from coming back? Make a religion check, uh, Reyna, and then an arcana check. Yeah. That's my way of trying to avoid metagaming. Well, you know, kind You're of good. metagaming. <laughs> and the battle map was on the stream the whole time, Dono. Mm -hmm. I did a thing for it. You're welcome. Nice. That's a 15 for religion. What was the other one? Uh, Arcana. Arcana. And a 19 for 19. the Arcana. Okay. You're able to successfully be able to rebury the and structure the graves correctly. You also figure through the Arcana that thing, the idea of what a Bodak is and do is that one, it was slightly a, it had connected itself to the graveyard. Um, looking around, you're able to see that literally your guys' tracks are the newest thing to show up here in a very long time. And so what you did by killing it was basically make it so the ground is now able to be holy again. And the undead should not be raised. Again. Okay, so she would let Kazia know that the ground should be safe now. The Bodak is gone, so everything should stay in its place. Wunderbar. Good job, you guys. <sighs> you did a good thing. Well, okay. let's uh, keep going and maybe we'll get a chance to rest. Before we uh, as meet you, up with the others. Yes. As you begin to uh, move yourself forward, you begin to hear the rustling in the bushes. And you see a familiar greeny scale to face. And that's where we're going to end for the night. <laughs> Wunderbar. Okay. Players, please give your outros. I am the drunken monk. I played the wonderfully arrogant asshole named Dracus. A great Fo job you did there. <laughs> follow us on follow me on TikTok uh, and uh, Twitch. Uh, don't bother with my Twitter. I don't get on it as I run the Adventures and Initiative Twitch page. Do follow that. We need more followers. Twitter page. Twitter page. Yeah, that that thing. <laughs> 
none of us really run the Twitch page. Uh, I am Shop Goblin. I play for Shield. Thanks so much for joining us. Feel free to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and I don't give a shit about my Facebook anymore. Uh, and fee- please remember to follow the Adventures and Initiative podcast where we post up all of our episodes of One Shot's uh, main Isles of El campaign and our Guild City campaign, which is our Ravnica campaign. This is Kyoko the Fox playing Reyna the Cleric. Um, you can find me on TikTok, uh, Kyoko underscore the Fox. Yay. Noodle. Seamus. Noodle. Noodle. Doodler. Follow oh, Noodle Doodler. And uh, he has some podcasts like Lonely Boy something something. <laughs> some lame podcasts like that. Yeah. And I'm Donna the Cleric. I have been your DM. It has been a pleasure doing this both relaxing and stressful uh, session. <laughs> uh, yeah. And please, definitely follow, follow our our guest noodle doodler on yeah. uh tiktok as well as his podcast the lonely boy hour which is a conversational podcast the nudes and you can find me on tiktok and everything underneath dawn of the cleric enjoy and have yourselves a wonderful day uh till next week the adventure continues till then roll for initiative